Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the third puzzle in what was sent to me as the Templar Sudoku set by Chip Sounder. Um, so this is another 6x6 Sudoku with a chess constraint. So um, yeah, <laughs> Chip setting puzzle. Be interesting to see how this one goes. I get the feeling this is going to be another colouring puzzle based on the constraints in play. So let's have a look. So we've got normal 6x6 Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, we have to place the digits 1 through 6 without repetition. Digits separated by a king's move in chess cannot contain the same digit. So for example, if this was something, none of these digits could be the same because um, even though these don't see each other by regular Sudoku, they do see it by king's move Sudoku because no cell touching the, um, any cell can contain the same digit. Basically, if this was a chessboard, a king could move to that square. So a king, um, so the digits cannot be the same in any square that is um, a king could move to. So interesting. Not, have I done a king's move six by six? I don't think I have. Uh, digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. Digits separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio. Not all dots are given. Clues outside the grid give the sum of the digits between the one and the six. So these are sandwich clues. So. Um, in this, uh, now it should say in the row or column, I would expect, but it's, mm, so yeah, it's not particularly clear. But in this column, um, the um, between the one and the six are uh, digits summing to nine. And in this row, digit, between the one and the six are digits summing to seven. So yeah, uh, digits on a gray line are palindromes and read the same forwards as backwards. So if this was a, uh, let's get out of color mode. If this was one, two, three, four, three, two, one, then it would read the same either way. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. That's the way palindromes work. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So sandwich clues. I haven't looked at sandwich clues with one to six, or if I have, I'm not well. So how would you do seven? You can't do seven with one, two, four, because the one's not available. And you can't do seven with a single digit because seven's not available. So it'd have to be a two digit clue, which would be, I can't do one, six, because one and six are the crust. So it'd be two, five or three, four. The nine clue, it could be three digits long if it was two, three, four. It can't be four digits long because the minimum four digit could be, would be two, three, four and five. Two, three, four and five is 14. That's way too high. So it could be three digits long if it's two, three, four. It could be two digits long, but only if it's four, five. So it's either two, three, four or four, five. And I don't know which. So it's got to be coloring. It's got to be palindrome coloring, I think. So these are the same digit. And yellow can't go in any of those. So yellow is one of those two. These are the same digit. Blue in this box is in one of those two. These are the same digit, but could actually be yellow. That's, they can't be blue, but they could actually be yellow. Oh, that's not helpful. Maybe I need to start on these lines. So rather than starting here, maybe I, uh, I might keep those because this can't be either blue or yellow because it sees a yellow there and a blue there. So this is a different color. And this can't be blue or yellow because it sees blue and yellow there. So this is, and it can't be green. So this is yet a different color. So these are four different colors. So now yellow in this row is there. 
because I can't put yellow there. It's in the same box and I can't put yellow there. Yellow can't be that digit because it'd be that uh, yellow can't be that digit. So yellow. Yeah. Hang on. Yellow. Yellow can't be here because it would. Yeah. Yellow in this row was in one of these three. Yeah, yellow was in one of those two, but it can't be here because it would reflect it there. This is yellow, which means this is also yellow. These are the same. So now am I looking at these? Because this is the area where I don't have the most coloring. Because this is just something. But I've got four colors in this row. So let's call those purple and gray. Because I've got four colors in this row established. Well, purple's not there. Purple has to be one of those two. It's not yellow. So this is purple. So this is green. This, these are orange and gray, and that can't be gray. So that's orange and that's gray. These are blue and gray and that can't be gray that's blue that's gray green is one of those two i can't see what to do with that orange is one of those two i can't see what to do with that yellow 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 has to be one of those two and for multiple reasons it's not that one that is yellow Blue is one of those. Where's blue in the top row? It can't be there because there's one in the box. It can't be there. So that's the blue. These are purple and gray. Gray is one of those two. That's not it, is it? Can't see how to determine those as purple and gray. But gray is one of these and it's one of those two. Because I can't put... So grey is one of... So the, these are purple, grey, and orange. Or, purple can't be there. Grey can't be there. Orange can't be there. These are purple, green, and orange. No, purple, green, and grey. That can't be green. That can't be grey. That can't be purple. I know what these two are though. These are blue and purple. And I can't narrow that down either. Oh, yellow. Yellow is there by Sudoku. So these are green and gray. Blue is one of the, oh no, blue, blue, blue is here. Because blue can't be there by King's move. So that puts blue here. So this is now purple, which means oh, that hasn't done anything for purple there. These are orange and green. I don't see how to get it further than this. Okay. Because purple is in one of those two and one of those two and one of those two. That's all fine. Gray is one of those two, one of those two, and one of those two. That's the same pattern reversed. And orange is one of those two, one of those two, and one of those two, which is the same pattern reversed. So is it sandwich clues? We know that the seven... is two clues. So if I started here, gray would be the one or the six. So it's either green and gray that's one or six, yellow and blue or purple and orange. 
if it was green and grey, they would... It can't be green, grey. This can't be the one or the six. Because if it was green and grey, these would be the crusts. And I'd need four digits something to nine. That doesn't work. Yellow and blue would make those... These would sum to nine, those would sum to seven. Five, four, three, two would work. If this was the crust and this was the crust, that doesn't work either because these would be the crust and there's nothing between them. And then I run out of space. So it's blue and yellow, which are the one and the six. So these are the four, five, but this has to sum to seven which is either four, three, or five, two, but this is five, four. And if this was the five, could I go four, five, four, three? Yes. So this is either four, five, four, three, or five, four, three, two. But these are one and six. So these can only be two or three because one only goes with two and six only goes with three. So these are four and five. This is the purple four, five, because it can't be orange. And this is the orange four, five. And now I've got more coloring. Oh, this can't be a four. It sees both of those. That's a three. So that is a two. So this is a five and this is a four. So orange is four. And I can get rid of orange now. Purple is five. And I can get rid of purple now. I'm a big fan of getting rid of colors when I don't need it. Gray is two. Yeah, two has to be here. Have I proved that that is gray? I must have. If I trust my coloring, those are two. Yeah, those are two and those are three by colouring. So this is a three, this is a two. The two goes with a one. So yellow, if I select all of yellow, yellow is now, get out of colour mode when I do that. Yellow is now one. Blue is now six. I can select all of those and get rid of the colouring. By Sudoku, that's a four. By Sudoku, that's a five. By Sudoku, that's a five. This is a two, three. This is a two, three, and I'm broken. Because there's no resolution there. This is broken. No, it's King's move. It's just a simple King's move. That's the three, that's the two, that's the two. That, how did I get all of that with the King's move and then forget it at the end? Sorry, I forgot the King's move right at the end. Oh, <laughs> because I'd done all of this log weird logic with the sandwich and all the coloring. Once I got rid of the coloring, I forgot the king's move. That was very dumb of me. That's really interesting. That resolution of this row, not being able to make them there, or this would be too long and I can't do nine in four digits, there being fine, not being able to do there, or it would be those digits and this would have to be a zero and then running out of room. That's really cool. That's really cool. I like that. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, Chip, for another good puzzle. Hope you're enjoying the series. Um, there's four more to come, so we'll see how this all goes. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.